Kensuke Kondo isn't built like a superstar at 5'8", 190 pounds, and he doesn't give superstar vibes either. But that's exactly what he is, a superstar. So let's talk about it. Born in Chiba on August 9th, 1993, Kondo started playing baseball at a young age and eventually attended Yokohama High School where he played shortstop and catcher, hitting 38 home runs in three years. He was drafted in the fourth round of the 2011 MPB Draft by the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters. The fighters actually drafted Tomoyuki Sugano with their first round pick that year, but he went unsigned because he wanted to play for the Omiuri Giants instead. They also took current center fielder Go Matsumoto in the second round, and future ace Naoyuki Uwasawa, who now plays for the Boston Red Sox, in the sixth round. Anyway, Kondo put up solid numbers on the farm as an 18-year-old true rookie in 2012, immediately showing off his on-base skills with 23 walks and only 25 strikeouts, with a 367 on on-base percentage. He made his MPB debut on July 4th and ended up playing in 20 games on the top team that year, but 2013 was when Kondo truly established himself as a premier prospect, slashing 355, 429, 515 on the farm. He got 32 more games of MPB experience, mostly playing out of position in the outfield, but hit just 152 with no extra base hits. 2014 would mark Kondo's first year cracking the opening day roster, and he finally got a chance to prove himself, hitting his first career home run on May 16th. Ultimately, he ended up seeing the majority of the season at third base due to an injury to veteran Eichi Koyano, but really showcased his versatility moving between catcher and shortstop, just as he did in high school. He finished his MPB debut season with a 258, 295, 386 slash across 89 games. Not outstanding, but this was just a preview of what was to come, as he quickly adjusted to the league in year two, putting up an incredible 326, 405, 467 line with 8 home runs, 6 steals, and 4 wins above replacement in 129 games. He also walked just as often as he struck out and finished 6th in MPB with a 155 WRC+. 2016 would prove to be a step backwards as he dealt with a knee injury and only played in 80 games with an underwhelming 660 OPS but winning a Japan Series title with Shohei Otani on his side was a pretty good consolation prize, especially as he put up good numbers in the postseason. 2016 would also mark Kondo's final year spending any time behind the plate, as he became a third-base corner outfield hybrid after that. And whether it was him moving off catcher, or getting a taste of winning, or just reaching his full potential, Kondo elevated his game to a whole new level in 2017 hitting 416 with an 1142 OPS through the end of April, and then replicating it in the month of May with a 397 average and 1111 OPS. Kondo was hitting well over 400 for the first two months of the season. Whatever you thought about Luis Arise's start to 2023, this was like that but on steroids. Unfortunately, his season would be derailed with a herniated disc in his lower back, keeping him sidelined for three months but he returned at the end of September for the final week of the season, where he proceeded to pick up right where he left off with a 471 average. Kondo finished the 2017 campaign with a 413 batting average, 567 on base percentage, and a 557 slugging percentage for a 225 WRC plus and 4 war in just 57 games. Now, he did have a 475 BABIP, which probably wouldn't have sustained itself through the entire year, but he also had a ridiculous 26% walk rate. This man outright refused to swing at balls, with a 14.6% chase rate on the year. To put that into context, Juan Soto's career chase rate in MLB is 20.1%. So we were potentially robbed of the first 400 season in MPB history, as well as the first 500 on base season since the great Sadaharu O. Oh. But doing so for 40% of the season was wild nonetheless. There's a reason Shohei Otani himself has called him a hitting genius. He was also selected to Samurai Japan's under 24 team at the Asia Pro Baseball Championship and went 7 for 12 in the tournament. He finally got another full season under his belt in 2018, hitting a career-best 9 home runs with a 427 on base percentage, making his first Pacific League Best 9 team at the end of the year at DH. 
In 2019, he only hit two home runs, but walked more than he struck out, and even had a 40-game on-base streak. From 2020 to 2022, he displayed remarkable consistency, hitting 312, 431, 468 during that span, establishing himself as not only one of the best pure hitters in the league alongside Masataka Yoshida, but also a true on-base king, walking 243 times and striking out just 201 times over that three-year sample. Kondo hit free agency at the end of the 2022 season, having posted a WRC Plus of 168 or higher in each of his last three seasons, despite topping out at just 11 home runs, while being a very capable outfielder as well. Many fans thought Kondo would be a fighter for life, but he decided to take his talents to Fukuoka on a seven-year deal, though there were reports earlier in the offseason that he would sign with the Lions. He also went to driveline in the U.S. and, with the added protection of the Hawks' stacked lineup, committed himself to hitting for more power, which he showed plenty of during the 2023 World Baseball Classic, hitting second, sandwiched between Lars Nupar and Shohei Otani. And once the regular season rolled around, he immediately showcased his newfound pop as he reached a career high in homers on July 1st. He would go on to crank 26 jacks during the course of the regular season, sharing the Pacific League home run crown with Gregory Polanco and Hideto Asamura. And he did so without sacrificing much of his incredible bat-to-ball skills, slashing 303, 431, 528 with a 193 WRC+, and 8.1 war while playing in all 143 games. He did have a career-worst 19.1 strikeout percentage and whiff rate, respectively, but he was as selective as ever at the plate, taking walks at a 17.8% clip and rarely chasing out of the strike zone. With a power component as well as improved left field defense added to his already loaded bag of tricks, Kondo had gone from one of the best to simply the best position player in MPB period. Because that's just the kind of guy Kondo is. He wasn't content with just being a top 5 player in the league. He wanted to be number 1. And that takes us to where we are now, in the midst of the 2024 season, where Kondo is continuing to dominate the competition with a 330, 426, 541 slash line with 11 doubles, 2 triples, and 8 home runs for a 201 WRC Plus through 51 games as of recording. He also has 11 defensive runs saved and is on pace for almost 11 war. Should the Hawks win the pennant, he will almost certainly win his first MVP. He doesn't care about the dead balls. He simply cares about being the best player that he can be, and that's what makes Kensuke Kondo one of the biggest superstars in the world who will never play in Major League Baseball. Thanks for watching. Please support me on Patreon at Baseball Cosmo, follow me on X at Yaku Cosmo, and like and subscribe on YouTube for more MPB content in English.